Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your LED conversion for your third brake lamp for your C4 Avant. Basically, it's it's a pretty simple process. You really probably don't need this video, but I'm just going to go over a couple things that you may or may not notice. So, uh, you remove these three screws on the back. This pops out. We'll call this the circuit board slash socket. Um... You're gonna take out all 10 of the halogen bulbs in here. Um, you're going to take your PCB here and you'll notice there are three holes, three large holes on the board and these correspond to the um, bosses for the screws to hold the backing on. Um, basically the board just slides over those bosses kind of a snug fit to hold it in place um, if you should for or if you need to for whatever reason remove this PCB from the housing uh, I suggest using a pick or a hook of some sort I use this flat head that is bent slightly um, I just hook it under the PCB like so and just give her a pry and you have to be very gentle otherwise you run the risk of damaging your PCB which is not ideal um, next thing is you need to line up this power terminal here with whichever it corresponds to whichever socket it corresponds to so this one would be one two three four so it'd be the one two three four basically I can set this up to be in whatever socket you need. If you have a damaged socket, a corroded one, a ball that snapped off inside of one, for instance, I can custom make it to whatever you need. Just let me know. Um, another thing you should notice is these two unused holes right here. These two, um, I don't know what it's called, vias, I think. Um, these are for kind of an emergency purpose. If for whatever reason you don't have the bars or the sockets are all bad or something to that nature where you can't use the terminal style connector, what you can do is you can solder on pieces of wire and you can solder them to the inside the bars of the socket here or you can run to the outside of the housing or whichever, however you need to do it, or however you need to do it, um, it just gives you another option. So basically all you do is you line up this terminal with the socket and I'm trying to do this with one hand while not looking at it so this should be fun. There we go. Um, it's going to be a very tug or a very snug fit. Um, but yeah, you can see it fits right in there factory and having that terminal allows you to just plug it into the car's pigtail no cutting, nothing needed, um, almost. You will need to put in a load resistor that's included with the kit. The way that's wired in is you just take the pigtail, you snip it off the harness, uh, leave some length of wire obviously so you can butt connect it or solder it or however you wanna do it and you just hook one wire up to your positive and one wire up to your negative. Basically all you're doing is making a bridge across the two wires and that just puts an extra load on the circuit to tell the body control module that, hey, the brake light's working. That is it. Nothing else is needed. Now you just reinstall your three screws, bolt it in the car, and you're good. If it does not function when you plug it into the car, take your pigtail out, flip it around 180, plug it back in. Um, it will plug in either way. I'm not sure why, but this, this uh, connector isn't really a connector, it's just like a shield around the terminals. The actual male pigtail looks nothing like this hole. Um, <laughs> I'll insert a picture here so you can see it. But yeah, that is all. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.